How stunning does Rulanska look at night? Make sure you watch this vlog. Lots to see, lots to do. Oh, from Rulanska. Oh my God. Hello and welcome back to Theme Parks and Attractions. Today I'm at Rulantica, right by Europa Park. It's a really good water park and they got lots of slides. And I'm going for the evening session tonight. It's seven o'clock till 10 o'clock. It's gonna be lit up in there and it's gonna look great. Before we continue, please give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate all of your support. I'm in a stunning area just opposite here, a hotel area. I'll show you the opposite side in a minute. Let's get into this vlog, shall we? Let's get in there, can't wait. Love a bit of Rulantica. Really nice area on this other side. Obviously it's Hotel Kronosan. You've all got a bar and restaurant over here. You've got the lake area just outside and you've got the boat area. So in the nicer weather when it's a bit more warmer, I suppose you can sit out there, have a drink out there and look out. There's lots of tables around here. Absolutely stunning area, it really is. And then you just walk over to Rilanska just over here. Yeah, look at this, absolutely stunning. I can't wait to get back to Rilanska. It's one of my favorite water parks in the world and it looks stunning. What you wanna do is you do wanna check Rulantica out in the evening. Now you can book different time sessions. You can book the daytime or you can book daytime with night or just night. So it depends really what type of time frame you're on really. But tonight I'm going seven till 10 and on a different day, I'm gonna be going during the day. And I thought I'm not gonna vlog two different things. I'm gonna relax on the other day, but take you in for the night session because it looks stunning lit up at night. Just gonna get my locker band now that I paid for and head into the change rooms. But first I need to head into that shop just over there after I get the band. Just got my Rulantica shorts, actually 35 euros, well 34.95 and I needed these because I left mine indoors. Just in the changing rooms now and I've got my Rulantica shorts on just over here as I was saying. Now they give you one of these and you go around Rulantica water park, you can get food on this, you can get drinks. There's also a cocktail pool as well. So if you want to order your drinks, order your food, make sure you use this nice and quick, nice and simple and you pay on the way out. Let's get around, shall we? before I take you inside Rulantica you've got this huge map here and it shows you where all of the slides are and what's actually in Rulantica shall we have a look around just over here you've got the uh, wave pool I've got my actual case for my phone just over here you've got the wave pool just over here just out here you've got some outdoor sections this section is actually closed because because of the time of year it's freezing cold outside but the outdoor sections are actually open you've got this little section here where you've got a cocktail pool uh, and lots of other things I mean all of the slides are located all around you've got these ones just over here you've got more around the back end of the section there so so much to see so much to do in Rulantica and you've got this one here too which is the newest one at the park I'm excited to show you around now and we're in it's absolutely stunning here you've got the wave pool just over here and look at this for lighting absolutely stunning you've got the pirate ship theming over there. there's a few little kiddie slides just over there the actual main slides are located just over there in the distance i'll show you those in a little bit yeah absolutely stunning in there it looks so much better lit up at night doesn't it as you head in at the other side you're greeted by this massive screen and this is located right by the food court just over here you've got a bar area and you've also got a restaurant area too a little bit later in the vlog i'm going to show you in there and show you what it's like because there's lots of food and obviously drinks available just at the top there you've also got the spa center just over there it's that time of the day where i'm going to show you what the food is available at rulantica i'm starving so let's get in there i'm not too sure what i'm gonna order let's see There are several places you can eat at Rulantica. Now in here you can have pizza, pasta and salad. Now I've been eating quite a bit of pizza and pasta lately and I don't particularly want either of those really. Otherwise I'm going to end up the size of a house, aren't I? So it's one of those. I mean, I'm going to actually check out the other side just over there where there's some other things. But look, you've got some salads over there uh, and you've got lots of desserts and things. But yeah, pizza and pasta, not really a fan to have that several times. So we'll see what else there is. Lots of refills in here as well though. Let's check out over the other side, see what they got over there. All of the lighting and theming up there, absolutely stunning. Now there are some places to eat over here and I'll show you what's available when I get over there. Before I show you the menu, you've got lots of burgers around here. Obviously you had the fries, obviously 6 20 euros for a burger. Normal one, you had the 4 90 euros for the fries. Not too bad, it works out about £8, something like that. So not too expensive. You've got chicken nuggets or chicken strips on there as well. Not sure what crossy means. It's one of the two anyway. Do you know? Let me know in the comments. You've got milkshakes in here, cappuccinos, espressos. So there's lots in here. If you do want an alcoholic drink, I'll recommend going to the cocktail bar at the end of the vlog because I'm going to go down there in a bit and grab a cocktail. So I'll show you that just over there. Got the food just over here. Got some fries, got the burger, 
Got some nuggets over here, got some dips just over here, got the uh, monster juice just over here as well. It come to around, you know, 20 pounds, something like that in the conversion, not too bad at all. You can see just up there, there's a trap door drop side as well. But yeah, this is absolutely stunning around here. I was gonna sit by the pool area, but it's quite nice here. You've got this here as well, so yeah. Are you ready for the first slide at Rulantica? And this is a water slide that races. So I'll take you along on this. I'm actually gonna get on the intense lazy river after this. I'll show you what it is. Woo, woo, got a bit of air time there. Yeah, really enjoyed myself here at Rulantica. And more air time, woo. Just over on Vilstrom now, and it's not the lazy river. You've got the Snorri touring lazy river, but you've got the rapids here, so yeah. Nice and colourful in here. Really enjoying myself here at Rulantica, just relaxing around. Oh. Yeah, I thought obviously I'd take you along, just chilling out in this. There is another lazy river, um, and that's themed to Snorri touring, which is the mascot of Rulantica. So in a bit, I'm gonna take you over there. I'll switch the come back around now, because you don't wanna see me, do you? Yeah, my phone's in a protective case at the moment and it's getting all, well, condensation in the case. It's not great, but I'm not going to take it out of the case, am I, for obvious reasons. So, it's one of those. It's lovely and heated in there, even though it's quite cold outside, if I'm being honest, but it's one of those. This footage is not going to be great for you, I'll give you that. It is very dark in here, very misty. And look at those lights, because it's in the protective case. Oh, my word. I thought I'd get you some footage rather than no footage, but it's not going to be the best, as I was saying. Not too sure what I'm going to say, but you can see all of the steam coming out here. Coming in for another drop. Woo! Oh. Yeah, there we go. Well, at least I went in there and got you some footage. I mean, it was terrible footage, but I can't do nothing about that. I'm not going to take my phone out of the protective case because that'd just be stupid, wouldn't it? And I've done that in the past. I've learned my lesson from that. So you lumped with that footage, but I did exactly what I could for you. Just having a bit of relax now, at least you can see this, and it's a lovely pool. Every now and again, you've got the waves coming on in here. Just behind it, you've got the screen over there as well. That's going off. You can see the mermaid just over there. And obviously, you've got the snorry mascot, which isn't there at the moment. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do in a minute, just over there. I'm going to take you over in a snorry touring wave river. Wave river? Lazy river. Yeah, that uh, rapids took it out of me. I'll tell you what, I shouldn't have really filmed in there, to be honest with you, but it's low light, isn't it? So, obviously, I'm not going to... It's an actual, it's a Siam Park case, but I'm not going to take it out of the case because the phone will get ruined. So you either have it in the case and then it gets steamed up in there. You can see, look at that. It all gets steamed up or you have it out of the case and then you won't get any footage at all. So it's one of those and I'll do my best for you. Anyway, you're going to get some better footage just over Snorri and I'm going to take you over there in a minute. It's a hard life, isn't it? Drop me a subscribe. Just have five minutes in that way for really enjoy myself. I wasn't going to take you in there because I don't think you're allowed to film really. So one of those isn't it really enjoyed it though just on snorri now and it's absolutely stunning this laser river you've got screens in here you've got all of the filming around here and it, this is somewhere you can actually film and it not stuff up your phone you've got all of the lighting in there as well it's so relaxing in there especially on a night like this as i was saying there's not too many people here you've got the bubbles coming up as well not too many people in here either so it's just a nice chilled night there's about an hour left something like that so I'm going to go, go around there and I'm actually looking forward to my cocktail in a bit as well. It's a lovely little cocktail pool and I like a good mojito so I'm going to head over there. What's your favourite cocktail? Let me know. I've got a screens coming up. I'll put some footage in for you that when I go over there. You've got several screens around there. Like I said, the mermaid going around just over there. Look at this theme in though. It's absolutely stunning from Rulantica. It's possibly my best favourite indoor water park in the world. You've got the screens on both sides around there. You've got the audio playing. I'm actually facing a little bit backwards at the moment, so. Oh, so relaxing. And I've actually taken my case off as well. You can see it's absolutely useless, to be honest. I took it in that, took it in that rapids for you. And that's what happens. All the condensation builds up, as I was saying. What would you do? I mean, would you have filmed it with something else? Let me know, because it was a tough one. I did not want to get any footage for you. And to be honest with you, this whole water park, I did ask when I actually come in here, uh, you're not allowed to film on it, on the slides in here, for obvious reasons. Um, now they did, I did say I've got a YouTube channel, 
and they said that I could come out when they've got a media night, which is once or twice a year, but I'm not going to be here on those dates, am I? And obviously they're going to have to email me those dates and I'll have to come back for that. It's a load of messing around to come back over Germany for that. So I've just got the one slide, to be honest, at the moment, and... I'm looking forward to getting in that cocktail pool. Look at this, just over here. This is the mascot and this is Story. Oh God. Absolutely stunning in here though, isn't it? Look at this, you've got the lighting in here. Just having a nice little relax over here, look at that. Oh. Look at this little section here. I don't know what that's supposed to be themed to. Obviously, what's it say? I'm not too sure because it's in German, but you've got some extra theming bits just over there. Got a snorri around just up there. Obviously, you've got the water effects going off. And if you just look up there, I'm not too sure if you can see it, it probably doesn't pick it up, but it's saying quarter past nine, 45 minutes. So let's hope I don't get that waterfall feature. Don't go off on me. Oh. This top section up here though, as I was saying earlier in the vlog, absolutely stunning, isn't it? You've got a bar area up there and you can just sit up there and look out. It's absolutely stunning. Obviously just over here, you've got a little assault course where you can actually step over it and see if you can get to the end. I wouldn't be any good at that because I wouldn't be able to balance. My balance is absolutely shocking it. It really is. But you can see it's just me in here at the moment and it's surprising because I actually went to Europa Park earlier and it was quite busy. It was really busy on the foot on the paths but all the rides are under an hour still because of the operations here. They're really good operations at Europa Park. If you do want to see the queues of all of the slides, there's lots of these points around the park and that tells you obviously each slide, what the wait times are. Not all water parks actually do that, do they? You just have to obviously go there and see if it's queued back a bit, but not here at Rulanska, you're told. I'm going back round for another lap. Look at this, all on the walls just over here. Absolutely world class. You've got all the rocks around there and this is at the start of when you actually come in here. But yeah, really relaxing up here. Look at him, I didn't actually notice him before. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this now and I'll see you over by the cocktail pool. See you over there. Looking forward to my mojito. My mojito. Just before we get over to the cocktail pool, uh, there is another outdoor section. As you can see, you got that over there. It's really good, but it's actually closed at the moment. But I'll show you this quickly. Just over in the cocktail pool. Looking forward to this. Now, when you turn around the corner, you can see, just jumped in there, got the cocktail bar. Looks really good, doesn't it? You can either sit around the table, you can sit right round the side on the left hand side just over there I'll show you what I get just on my seat now by the bar I've ordered a mojito so I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out obviously you can either sit in the seats down here you obviously got the bar just over in here's the mojito just come out you've got the cup here as well that you can obviously keep if you want to take back with you so I'm just going to go somewhere a bit more discreet and have a chat with you cheers it's just a shame obviously certain slides and things you can't film on the main slide here you've got the raft slides and you've got the more intense slides obviously the plunge slide as well and you just can't really record on them um, I have asked and as I said the response was I can come to media night in the future but that's like once or twice a year and obviously I'd have to be available on those dates to come out so I'll just get whatever footage I can for you really I'm gonna enjoy this mojito and uh, carry on with this vlog Literally holding my case in here because I don't want to put it in there and it uh, blur up for you. So I'm going to enjoy this and show you around a little bit more. What is your favourite water park? My top three is probably Siam Park, Volcano Bay, and then Rulantica. I'm not too sure where I'd actually place this on my list, to be honest. Um, probably number two because I like Siam Park. This would probably come in at number two. And then number three for me, probably Volcano Bay. But let me know in the comments what your favourite water park is. Really enjoyed that cocktail. Now, Rulantica's really filtered out now. It's not been busy all day, but you have got this other kid section in here. If you're looking for a nice kid section, look at this for theming. Got the waterfalls going off up there. And when once this bucket, obviously, like just like other water parks, once the bucket obviously fills up, it just pours down up there. But it is quite dark in here, so certain spots aren't obviously going to pick certain stuff up. And there's no kids in here at the moment, so I thought, show you around in here a little bit. I mean, that slide there looks decent, doesn't it? And this bit reminds me of like a gold mining bit, obviously, where you get the gold in there, sift it through. It's quite decent. Now, you can't say I don't get you any slide footage in this vlog, because I try and go out all out for you. I did on that uh, Rapidsy bit, and this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's not the biggest, but we're going to go for it anyway. Woo! Slide footage! Oh, from the Rulantica! Oh, my God! 
There we go, on slide. I mean, I had to get you some slide footage, didn't I? Right, it's 10 past 10 and Rulantica's closed. You can see there's no one in here. Um, I'm going to get dressed now and wrap this vlog up outside. I'm just going to quickly show you around the gift shop now and show you what they've got. Now, this is obviously the main mascot of the park. Snorri Torin, you've got the plushie there. You've got the book for 16 euros just down there. A small merch just down here. You've got this water bottle here, 750. You've got the cup there. It's quite nice, isn't it? 895. I really like that. Yeah, as I was saying earlier on, I actually got some shorts and I was wearing these the whole time. They didn't have the medium. Obviously, it's got the Rulantica logo just over there. 35 euros, I said. 34.95. There we go. 34.95 on those. But yeah, I had the choice of these red ones or the blue ones, but they didn't have the Rulantica logo. I mean, what ones would you have gone for? They didn't have any medium either, so it's a choice between the large uh, and the small. So I had to go for the small because the large was massive, being honest with you. But yeah, there's a decent amount in there, and if you want to grab some sweets in the, on the way out, there's lots here to choose from. They look good, don't they? And that was my experience of Rulantica. Now, firstly, can I just say sorry that I didn't get you lots of slide footage in there? Now, when I walked in there, first of all, uh, the woman in there said that I couldn't film. I explained that I've got a YouTube channel. Um, as I've said a couple of times to you, um, she said they'll drop me an email and I can come to the media event. It's either once or twice a year. Um, she, she said, obviously, she's going to email that to me. But the thing is, I'm not going to be coming back here on that exact date, whenever that is, uh, just to do the water park. But um, it was nice of them to offer me it. Um, there's, there's about 10 slides in there, if I'm being honest with you. I only filmed on one of them. Well, I actually filmed on two, didn't I, if you watched it all the way through. And you have, because you're at this point now. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And now I took you along the fearless, not the fearless river. Where's the fearless river? I'm thinking of somewhere else. I'm thinking of Volcano Bay. I actually went there not too long ago, didn't I? The fearless river. Love the fearless river. Yeah, I took you around the rapids in there. Um, it's called Vildström. I go, Vildström. But, um, yeah, I really enjoy Vildström. Um, you've got some lighting in there. There are some dark sections, though. As I was saying, I put my case on, um, but it gets steamed up. So it's one of those. So you can actually, you know, film in there with the case on so your phone doesn't get damaged. But at the same time, you're not going to see much in there. But I wanted to get you as much footage as I possibly could, and I tried my best for you. Look at Kronos, right by Rulantica, lit up there. It looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? I'll give you a little switch around there, show you. Absolutely spectacular. Look at this. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I went in that choppy waters didn't i i forgot vildstrom there i wasn't thinking what it was choppy waters um and i actually went on snorri torin's lazy river obviously that was stunning wasn't it you got the screens in there you got the theming all around it um and yeah i really enjoyed that obviously it was good getting you some decent footage with some decent lighting uh, unlike the other one but it's one of those isn't it really enjoyed myself in there and i enjoyed the cocktail at the end as well why wouldn't i um i'm gonna wrap this vlog up now look at all of these halloween decorations around there if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe as usual. Drop me a comment. What's your favourite ride or slide at Rulantica? Do you say ride? Do you say slide at water parks? It's a tough one because lots of people put on rides, lots of people put on slides. But drop me a comment what your favourite slide is. Really be interested to know. Are you going to be visiting Rulantica in the future? Drop me a comment. And as always, I'll see you in the next theme parks and attractions video. See you in the next one.